Hello, my name is Dr Samantha Miles and I'm the subject coordinator for the BSc Applied Accounting at Oxford Brookes Business School, Oxford Brookes University. The purpose of this short video is to run through the information technology skills that are required as part of the research and analysis project for the BSc Applied Accounting. As part of your BSc Applied Accounting, you will be expected to demonstrate a range of information technology skills. These will include showing clear evidence of having accessed online information sources. So that means that you need to include those information sources in your reference list and to include the citations to those references within your research and analysis project. You also need to include a spreadsheet. You have to create that spreadsheet yourself and you also have to submit it. Within the spreadsheet, you have to clearly demonstrate that you have used a variety of formulae and we will run through some of the basic formula within this presentation. Please note that the spreadsheet is absolutely compulsory regardless of what topic you choose. Some topics will lend themselves more freely to the inclusion of a spreadsheet because they'll be very focused on financial data. But other topics such as motivation, for example, will include lots of primary data and that primary data will also be numeric. And so you can use the spreadsheet to include the data analysis from your primary research. You also have to show clear evidence of using other relevant software in preparing your project and that could include the use of uh, Microsoft Word or a similar uh, Word package and the PowerPoint or presentation software for your presentation. So why does Oxford Brookes University require you to have a spreadsheet as part of your submission for your BSc Applied Accounting? The main reason is this is a fundamental academic skill and it's really important if you want a job within finance. All finance professionals are expected to have a working knowledge of Excel and that's because it enables you to analyse, manipulate data in a much more efficient and effective way than doing it manually. This saves time, it reduces errors Mostly because Excel does the maths for you. It's a really valuable tool. There are hundreds of functions and formulae that you can use to enable that efficient, effective use of data. In addition, Excel has functions to help you organise and create graphs, which can improve professional presentation. All of those are really highly valuable skills within employment. So for the project, you should use a spreadsheet, regardless of whether you use primary data or secondary data. For primary data, you can use the spreadsheet to collate and analyse your data. This will help you organise your information from your findings, say from your questionnaire, and helps you in a much more efficient and effective way to analyse that information. You can then include the results in your project and you reference the spreadsheet as an appendix. For the secondary data, you can use a spreadsheet to summarise very important secondary information that you have, such as the summary financial statements or extracts from the management accounting information that you have used. And here, it's important to have that information because otherwise the workings within your project wouldn't make sense. So they have to be verified by the marker. However, it's really important not to just cut and paste this information in, but to actually create the summary financial statements yourself by using varied formula. You can also use formulae to help you analyse that secondary data. So for example, by calculating the ratio, so you don't have to do them manually. So let's have a look at some of the basics. Here, we have just the four basic addition, subtraction, multiplication and division elements of maths. You'll notice that for each one of them, if you want 
a spreadsheet to do this automatically for you, you have to put in an equal sign at the start and then you will have the range of the cells that you want to either add or subtract. So for example, if you want to add together the values in A1, A2 and A3, you type in equals A1 plus A2 plus A3. If you want to multiply them together, like you might do for a ratio, then you use the asterisk sign. So it's equals A1 asterisk A2, for example. For division, because we don't have a division on the keyboard, you just use the backslash. So that's equals A1 backslash A2. And then that would divide cell A1 by cell A2. Sometimes, though, those basic formulae wouldn't be particularly effective. So, for example, if you want to add together a long list of numbers, uh, so let's say you had a long list of expenses within the income statement. So rather than doing those individually, we can use the sum function. So that is equal to equal sum bracket. Then you put the range in and close the bracket. So equal sum bracket A1 colon A5 close brackets will give you the sum of the range of the values from the cells A1 all the way through to A2, A3, A4 and A5. Average functions can be very important. For example, if you want to know the average of um, to inventories or the average score of your participants for a particular questionnaire uh, question. And here we just use equals average brackets and the range of the cells that you want to average out. Min and max might be um, useful to see what the extremes of a questionnaire response might be, for example. So if you want to find the maximum numerical value in a range of cells, you would type in equals max brackets A1 to A20, close brackets. Or if you want to find the minimum numerical value in a range of cells, it would be equals minimum and then the range within the brackets. Now those are just four functions. Excel has over 475 in its function library. And so we could use different functions to automatically calculate standard deviation, to do what if calculations, to look at a net present value or an internal rate of return and so forth. Now the BSE Applied Accounting does not require you to be an absolute expert in all of those 475 all we want you to do is to demonstrate that you have some understanding of generating data using the formulae. We also want you to create the spreadsheet yourself and not use a temp template. So create the spreadsheet, use a mix of basic formulae and functions, and that does mean that if you have the same formula, but you've used it multiple times for different cells, that's not going to be sufficient. We are looking for a variety of formulae and functions. In terms of the use of templates for your spreadsheet, please do not be tempted. You are not permitted to use a prepared template, even if it's given to you by your mentor or a spreadsheet that was generated by another student. Oxford British University is looking for you to create your own spreadsheet that demonstrates that you have the required information technology skills. The use of a template or copying of a spreadsheet from another student will result in an investigation to your academic integrity. Integrity is a really important, absolutely fundamental element of the accounting profession because it requires accountants to be honest, forthright, candid with a client's financial information. So please do not put your future professional uh, career at risk by 
cutting corners through the use of a prepared template or spreadsheet generated by another student. So in creating your spreadsheet, first and foremost, create it yourself. Just to reiterate, Oxford British University is not looking for an absolute professional level spreadsheet that has got multiple complex formulae and function in it. Just the basic functions would be um, acceptable as long as you have a variety of functions and formula. Don't paste in pictures, that's not using a spreadsheet effectively. Actually use it to generate data and generate the data by using those multiple and different formulae and functions. So for further advice and support, please see the information pack. Thank you.